Hi there, my name is Amit Nayak, and I'm the Gateways Product Manager here at MicroStrategy. And here I'll talk you through the Gateways updates in 2021. Before we jump into it, I'll go over our Gateway support and certification guidelines, which has been on our community site for almost three years now. The only change that we've made to our tiering is that we have promoted XSL from a gold gateway to a platinum gateway. Next, we will cover our new gateways and new certifications in 2021. First off is our cloud object connector, which we've added at the beginning of 2021 to support all of the major cloud ecosystems. For Amazon, we support Amazon S3. For Google, we support Google Cloud Storage. And for Microsoft Azure, we support ADLS2. Each of these three connectors supports a variety of different file formats, such as Avro, ORC, JSON, CSV, and Parquet. We also added nine new gateways in 2021. From the SAP ecosystem, we have added SAP BW and SAP ECC. From the Force.com platform, we've added Financial Force, ServiceMax, and Viva. For our NoSQL arena, we've added Google Cloud Spanner. And for MDX sources, we've added Kyligence. Last but not least, we've added Microsoft Dynamics and Databricks. Now let's jump into our SAP ecosystem. As I mentioned, we've added BW and ECC in addition to our already existing SAP connectors for S4 HANA and BW4 HANA. We've also extended our support for SAP HANA Classic, XSC, to support SAP HANA Advanced, XSA. Finally, we've leveraged our partnership with SAP so that the MicroStrategy platform is certified on SAP HANA on-prem and SAP HANA in the cloud. We are the very first VI vendor to be certified on the SAP HANA cloud ecosystem. Next, let's take a look at the salesforce.com platform. As I mentioned, we've added three new connectors, Financial Force, ServiceMax, and Viva. We've also added two new user experience enhancements. The first is that we are better able to handle different data types for the Salesforce connector. The second is that we have improved the performance of the Salesforce search bar functionality, improving performance by almost 95%. We've also added a variety of new certifications. For our diamond gateways, we've added support for 21C, both on-prem and in the cloud. For Teradata, we've added support for Teradata 17.10, and we've also added support for PostgreSQL 14. For our Platinum tier, we've added support for Cloudera Data Platform 7.2, XSL 6.2 and 7, and SAP HANA 2.0, Service Pack 5. From the gold tier, we've also added support for single store, form formerly known as MemSQL, 7.3. Now let's jump into authentication. First up is Azure Active Directory single sign-on integration with SAML and OIDC tokens. Here you can see the end-to-end -end workflow of exactly what that would look like. First, the user is going to log into Azure Active Directory using username and password. After they log into Azure Active Directory, they can then select the database that they would like to connect to. Here we support three different data sources, Snowflake, Azure SQL Database, and Azure Synapse Analytics. Once you connect to one of those three data sources, you can then set your OAuth parameters. Once you configure your OAuth parameters, you're then able to freely create your cubes and dossiers as needed. Next, we're going to look at Snowflake ADFS integration to support OAuth workflows. This is very similar workflow to what we just saw for Azure Active Directory. First, the user is going to log into MicroStrategy Web through ADFS SAML using their username and password. Once they do that, they can go into Web and connect to their Snowflake database. After they connect to Snowflake, you can then configure your OAuth DB role. After configuring your OAuth DB role, you can then input your OAuth parameters and connect to your Snowflake database as needed. Next up, we're going to look at Oracle Cloud Wallet workflows. In this demo video at the very beginning, you can see the support that we have extended for Update 3 for clustered environments. The rest of the workflow has been in the product since Update 2. First, the user is going to connect to their desired Oracle Cloud database. It can be either Oracle Cloud or Oracle Autonomous Data Warehouse. After that, they're going to then configure the Oracle Cloud credential file. When they do that, you will see a radio button for which you can establish your connection for the Cloud Wallet credential file, providing a seamless upload workflow. We also provide seamless workflows for replacing or removing the, the file as needed. And we also provide a service option. The service option comes directly from the Oracle Cloud. Next, we're going to go back to our Cloud connectors. As I mentioned, we support the three major cloud ecosystems, Microsoft Azure, Google, and Amazon. 
Here you can see what the OAuth workflow would look like for Azure ADLS 2 and Google Cloud Storage. And here you can see what it would look like for Amazon S3 via Amazon Cognito. Now we're gonna go over a quick overview of everything that we have seen here today. For authentication workflows, we've added support for Azure Active Directory, single sign-on with Snowflake, Snowflake ADFS, Oracle Cloud Wallet, and the OAuth support that we've extended for our cloud object connectors. We've also added a variety of new gateways for Azure PostgreSQL, Microsoft Azure SQL Managed Instance, and IBM Netezza Performance Server. We've also added gateways for the Force.com platform, notably Financial Force, Viva, and ServiceMax. We've also extended our support in the SAP ecosystem to support SAP BW and SAP ECC. We've also added our new cloud connector in at the beginning of 2021. For the cloud object connector, we support Amazon S3, Google Cloud Storage, and Azure ADLS 2. And for each of these three connectors, we support a variety of new file formats, Avro, Parquet, JSON, CSV, and ORC. We have provided a number of user enhancement, user experience enhancements for Salesforce, out of the box ODBC and JDBC drivers for XSL, and new certifications for a number of our diamond and platinum gateways. Last but not least, we have added a number of new SQL functions that we push down to the database, notably for date time, percentile, and case and case fee. Each of these function pushdowns helps improve the performance of all of our gateways. Thank you for tuning in for all of the updates for gateways in 2021. For more information, please check out our website.